we are quickly going to look at how to find the molecular formula if given both the empirical formula and the molar mass of the molecular formula. So taking a look at this problem, they give us the empirical formula um, CH2Cl, and they tell us that the compound in question has a molar mass of 99 grams per mole. That is not the molar mass of the empirical formula, if I were to calculate it. This is the molar mass of the missing molecular formula. So what should we do? Well, we know that the molecular formula is going to be some multiple of the empirical formula. We just have to figure out what that multiple is. So your first step would be to calculate the molar mass of the empirical formula that they do give you, which is in this case CH2Cl. So if I were to do that, there's one C, there's two H's, there's one CL, go to my periodic table, look up the atomic masses, add them all up, and I get 49.5 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of the empirical. What else do they give me in the problem? Oh, they give me the molar mass of the molecular. So by using these two molar masses, I can figure out how many times bigger the molecular formula is than my empirical. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these two numbers, and that's going to give me what I can call n, the integer that I'm going to have to multiply my formula by. So um, back in the problem, the molar mass was 99 grams per mole of the molecular. I calculated the empiricals to be 49.5, so I'm just going to divide these two numbers, and I get a whole number of 2. So what that means is my molecular formula is two times bigger. So all I have to do is go back to my empirical formula, C1H2Cl1, and multiply each of those subscripts by the integer I found. Multiply each by two, and I get C2H4Cl2. Very, very simple. Take a moment and try the next problem. So if I look at this problem, they give me the empirical formula. Let's find the molar mass of it. 1C, 2Hs, that's 14 grams per molar. In this case, they're giving me the units AMU, atomic mass units, a much smaller scale. So I'm just going to use AMU as well. When I divide the two masses, those units should go away. So I'm dividing 56 by 14. I get 4. So all I'm going to do is multiply my original subscripts of the empirical formula by 4, and I get C4H8. Very simple. This might be the add-on in a problem uh, where at first maybe you had to find that empirical formula, which you can look at past videos of mine in order to find out how to do that. And then this might be a last step. Well, now that you have the empirical formula, find the molecular formula given this molar mass. And now you know how to do it.